Josh Woods has been punishing the upper body of the Ring of Honor World Television Champion, Samoa Joe. But don't count Joe out yet. And look at the strength of Joe stacking Woods up, too. Able to get out of the submission. Both men Whoa. in this match have been focused on submissions. We almost forgot the pinfall option. Once again, targeting that wounded shoulder and arm. And, and Chris, Woods is so yeah. dangerous with these hammer locks. Locking that arm in, striking the shoulder. Ooh! Oh, that was great. Woods a tad overzealous, Joe, looking to make him pay with a sleeper. And that's a locked-in sleeper if he can get those hands clasped once again. That's the secret to both of these men. Clasp those hands, you got them locked in. And the positioning of Woods dropping the hips. Woods transition under. Two. Great kick out there by Samoa Joe. And it's going to be that amateur background of Woods able to lower his hips beneath Joe. If he can sink those hips low, he can put Joe where he needs to put him in the mat and really take away the ropes if he's able to get those submissions in again. He's got to try and lock it in soon, because I'll tell you what, Joe's getting fired up now. You're damn right. Now Woods, oh, tried to leapfrog Manhattan drop. Joe hits the ropes again. Whoa. The high boot takes Woods off his feet. Great flexibility for the 300-pounder. Oh. Wow. What a senton. by Joe. Two. Two I'm, count there. I might have stayed down on that one. That's 310 pounds coming right down on your bread basket. But Ian, you can see Joe is hurting with all the damage done to the arm. He certainly is. And, and there are years of wear and tear on Samoa Joe, one of the best in the game, the longest reigning Ring of Honor world champion of all time, making hay in the television title realm. But years and years of abuse on that shoulder and elbow. Woods targeting is locked in. Reversal. Yeah, don't count Joe out. Yeah, oh, nice. What a power slam. Power slam, tight cover, but Woods able to kick out. I think that shows the respect Joe has for Woods as an opponent. You saw the, the grip locking it in tight. We talked earlier in the show about connecting with the audience. Joe has that connection with the fans. Sure does. They love chanting Joe, and they love getting behind him, which they have in this entire match. And then the lovely Joe's going to kill you chant. Yeah, what a chance. It's like a soccer hooligans. Joe so dangerous, perching Woods up top here. Maybe looking for the muscle oh, buster. Guy. Like Tony Nese on the opposite and, side. Come on! Oh. Smart Mark Sterling. Smart Mark Sterling, dopey Paul Turner. And Woods. Oh, Woods with a roll up here. One, two. Yeah, you're not going to get Samoa no. Joe with a schoolboy. Oh! Now that might get it. That might work. May have turned the lights out. And oh, look at, wow. look at how strong Josh Woods is. That's powerful. Look at his quads just straining. Woods, oh, oh, wow. Connects with the knee. Bowling shoe ugly, but effective as hell. Exactly. Two. Two. Oh, we almost had a new champion, gentlemen. I think Woods was just as surprised as we were that he hit that move. Two consecutive knees by Josh Woods, the patella colliding with the face of Samoa Joe. And uh, smart Mark is coaching his uh, fanny off. You see Woods maybe looking for it again. Could be a mistake, as the lights are back on for Samoa Joe. Once again, Woods is putting up a, quite the fight here against sure this is. monster. You're, you're say that, Chris. Oh, oh the STO by Samoa Joe. And Tony Nese. Oh! How's your father, Tony? Ain't a forearm right in the face. Wow. Now can Joe put this man away, who has given Joe one hell of a fight here tonight. And he's got Woods perched up top. He's this going for the muscle buster. Could be it. Oh. Muscle buster. Samoa Joe, the muscle buster. The foreleg hooked. And the win. He is a monster, Samoa Joe, and he's still the ROH World Television Champion. Well, he's feeling it, though. Josh Woods definitely put up a great fight tonight on Rampage. The winner of this match, and still Ring of Honor World Television Champion, Samoa Joe. The bigger the stage, the more Joe you want to see. Well, you want to talk about a big stage coming up this Wednesday night, AEW Grand oh. oh, wait. Oh, wow. Nice comes in with a cheap shot from behind. And Nice, he's got an axe to grind. And Woods is in on it, too. I'm disappointed in this young man. That was a heck of an effort. No reason for these extracurricular activities. Well, they're sore losers. They're trying to retaliate on oh, the motivation oh. of that goof right there holding the title. No, it, it can't be. It's, it's Wardlow. Wow. Just over a week ago, defeated Tony Nice. And look at Samoa Joe. 
Joe's got his leg. He ain't getting out of that. He's got him in a bear trap. And he's licking his chops. Neeson Woods abandoned Smart Mark Sterling. Oh, this is great. I've been waiting to see this. I think we all have, Chris. And, oh, 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 Tony Nee saving his advocate, Mark Sterling Warlow, which is about to conduct the Powerbomb Symphony. You don't want Wardlow on your trail. He'll get you in the end, I'll tell you that. Oh, but look at these two behemoths. <laughs> I'm in. Two champions standing tall. I like this. <laughs> wow. Someday. Yeah. Somewhere. Shapes of things to come or newborn allies. Either way, it's interesting. Wow. Love it. I've just been informed by Tony Khan that next Friday night, Rampage Grand Slam, it will be Wardlow and Samoa Joe taking on Tony Nese and Josh Woods. But next Wednesday night, AEW Dynamite Grand Slam, the biggest match in Dynamite history. John Moxley, Brian Danielson, the winner, leaves New York as AEW World Champion.